Hello, sir. Welcome to Water Week. Can you introduce yourself, please? Yeah, yeah my name is Nana Jumasako, the president of Friends of Rivers and Water Bodies. Um, we formed this NGO since 1989. Wonderful. And Can you just show us your name tag, please, as well? Okay. Thank you. And I think uh, we formed this NGO far back as 18, 1989, when most organizations were not talking about water. We formed it basically to protect rivers and water bodies. We realized that they were protecting the gold, the trees, the manganese, the bauxite, but nobody was talking about this issue called water. So as a local people, we came together to form this NGO to be the voice of water and then also to prescribe prescriptions to fix the water bodies and the perennial cover that have been taken away and have been degraded. So we started by growing trees along some water bodies and then we did, we did that also um, along the line we realized that some people were going back to destroy them. So we had fruit trees along the water bodies and we, we planted coconut, some oranges and catch and realized that it was catching up with the community. And what we did is that we went to the community, discussed with them and leave them to continue to manage it. So as they are trying to protect the trees and manage the, the fruit trees, they are protecting the water bodies. And then also we, plant gra gra we grow green grasses. Then we realized that bamboo also naturally were, were, were around our water body. So we also started, went into planting of bamboo, which is very good for absorbing of carbon and the protection of uh, the perennial cover from erosion and saltation. You know, from areas that we've done this job, we've seen the improvement in the water quality, water quantity, and the aquatic life. Wonderful. And, and it's a source of uh, it's a, a very interesting place to go. And apart from that, we've also realized that in the cities, the, the, the people are destroying water bodies. So in the cities, we, are, we, we, we take control of the water body, grow trees around it, and protect the water body and serve as a park, children's park, and where people can watch the water body and sit under the trees to enjoy the beauty of uh, water and, and the tree. Then I'm here because I, am, I love Stockholm Water Week and I've been here since, uh, it's only 204, since 203, it's only 204 that I was not able to attend. I've always been here Welcome and I'm back. learning a lot and, and when I come here I learn so much. But the problem I have is that when we go back with the officials, this message and this good thing that we are learning, it doesn't get to the people on the ground, except we few NGOs who go back to the ground and tell the people who are the poorest poor that this is the issues, this is what is happening. And I think we need a bigger platform to, to, to be able to go around and we need support to tell people of the good things that are happening here. We have been saying that, yes, we don't have to congest the city for so many years that they don't understand it. What, what fascinates me is when the, the habitat director was talking, the issues that I have been talking about, the issues that I granted an interview to put on TV mm -hmm. this Sunday, coming mm -hmm. Sunday, were the issues he highlighted and spoke about. And I think we are we are coming to a point that if we don't take care, we won't get water. And our slogan is, water is life. And no water, no germination. So if, if we want food security, we need water. If we want to live in our homes, sanitation, we need water. If we want to put up factories, houses, we need water. So water is something that is too important that we cannot ignore. But for us at World what Stockholm Water Week, it's a very important place that when we come, we learn a lot. Then we also uh, share ideas, meet the right people like we are today, and talk to the right people at this right time. So that when we go back, we can also have experience from other places and then we can share with our people. Right now, what is becoming clear is that we are saying that we need water in our rivers. And it's very important we allow the water bodies to remain as it is so that it can harvest rainwater to recharge the underground water. From where I'm coming, everybody's digging a borehole while we are destroying catchment areas and rivers which will harvest the rainwater, which mm -hmm. will also support the recharging system. So when I came here, this important point has been re-echoed and I go back and tell the people, and I'm happy some of our people are here and they are hearing it because in the past, when I tell them that this is very important, they say they are hitting the aquifers and that's where they will get the water and they think it will remain there forever. But I'm happy they have also heard that it's not, it won't remain if we don't recharge. 
and so I'm happy about whatever I'm learning. Good. The issues that I've kept, I've been talking about for so many years, now is on the agenda and yeah. everybody's talking about. So you Great. can see how happy I am. Thank you so much for sharing with us about that and for taking time today. You are most welcome. Thank you.